Welcome to Horizon Valley, the revamped battlefield experience introduced in our newest update. If you're looking for all the details on the changes we've made, look no further. First off, we've changed the Dark Slayer and Abyssal Dragon spawn times to help balance out the game. Originally, the Dark Slayer first spawned at 6 minutes into the game and had a 6 minute respawn timer. The new Dark Slayer first spawns at 8 minutes into the game and has a 5 minute respawn timer. The Enraged Abyssal Dragon first spawns 10 minutes into the game and has a 5 minute respawn timer. Both of these monsters grow over time, increasing in power and difficulty to take down. The Enraged Abyssal Dragon stops growing after 13 and a half minutes, while the Dark Slayer stops growing after 11 and a half minutes. The Abyssal Curse is a new gameplay mechanic. To ensure that teams need to continually make strategic choices, and to make sure that things don't snowball too quickly as the result of Drake Mondester and the Enraged Abyssal Dragon buff, whenever a team defeats an Enraged Abyssal Dragon or Dark Slayer, they'll receive the Abyssal Curse. For the next 180 seconds, they'll deal 50% less damage to Abyssal Dragons and Dark Slayers. Since the Enraged Abyssal Dragon buff differs depending on your class, let's take a look at the benefits each class receives. Rather than giving straight damage buffs to all classes, these customized mechanics will help speed up the tempo of the game. If you're a tank, the buff will heal you by 1% of your max HP every second. If you're a warrior, you'll gain 50 flat attack damage plus a 10% bonus. If you're an assassin, you'll get 100 armor pierce, 175 magic pierce, and 20 movement speed. If you're a mage, you'll gain 75 flat ability power plus 15% additional ability power. For marksman, your critical chance increases by 10%, and armor pierce increases by 15%. Lastly, if you're a support, you'll gain a unique passive that recovers 100 HP and 50 mana every second for nearby allies. The Enraged Abyssal Dragon grants a brand new revival buff that makes you immune to lethal damage. When you take lethal damage while the buff is active, you'll become invincible for half a second and heal 1000 HP plus 10% of your maximum HP. The new changes to the Dark Slayer will give teams the ability to push harder. The old Dark Slayer buff granted a 30% increase in attack damage and ability power with 1% max HP and 1% max mana regen every second. The new Dark Slayer buff keeps the 1% max HP and mana regen, but now the buff is focused on providing a huge movement speed boost. Since destroying enemy towers and getting into their base can be quite difficult in the late game, we've added the Drake Mondester to help you take down towers. Mondester can be obtained by defeating the Dark Slayer and summoned anywhere to help push along the nearest lane. It deals a fixed amount of damage to towers and takes damage every time it hits one. The Drake also gives nearby minions the Draconic Roar buff, which increases minion size by 10%, max HP by 25%, and attack damage and movement speed by 10%. We've also changed the benefits of the Spirit Sentinel to provide a more strategic advantage for those who defeat it and to increase the pace of the game. The old Spirit Sentinel buff lasted for 60 seconds and restored 2% of max HP every second. It also increased movement speed by 60 upon leaving combat. The new buff increases movement speed both in and out of combat, enhancing your ability to maneuver around fights and making it easier to pursue an enemy when ganking. It grants 50 health regeneration per second and 20 movement speed at all times, with the movement speed increasing to 60 when out of combat. Now that you've learned everything you need to know about Horizon Valley, come join us and fight for control of this new battlefield.